Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 18. Okay, uh, the previous episode we had a little, um, what can I say, you know, Todoroki called his friends to his home, uh, Endeavor was there, the full family was there except their mom and uh, they had a little um, dinner together, everyone and it was nice and we kind of saw how like you know shun is uh no not shun what was his name natsu sorry natsu was unable to still uh uh what do you call it like accept his dad how there is still a little bit of a conflict going on which obviously we cannot blame him for and how like you know how still the family is kind of in an awkward mood which even made Bakugo awkward like that's an achievement that you can <laughs> you know like say that you made Bakugo awkward so like it was that awkward and it was that what can I say like the tension was that much in the air so all that stuff and how and in the end we see how Deku actually talks with uh, Todoroki and tells him that you're like, you know you're not just ready yet like and you're trying to do it because you're one of the kindest pe person i have seen and like you know like encouraged him which everyone heard uh, even endeavor heard natsu also heard so that and another thing we kind of saw in the end i think his name was shun wasn't it the brother that uh like you know like endeavor was talking about not endeavor but you know that natsu was talking about and he is no more in this world he died most probably and i'm i think like it has something to do with uh i don't know like you know something like you know uh, Asu kind of blamed endeavor for it so i'm guessing this somehow related so uh we kind of saw the uh, you know uh how he looked like mm, shun i think that was his name and you know in the altar and who knows maybe we're going to get some kind of backstory in this episode so let's see uh what happens so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 18 of my hero academia season 5 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right.
Boy, this opening. Oh, I kind of realized, it's been a long while we've actually seen All Might. <laughs> like, you know, previously we used to kind of see him every day, but now, ah, uh, yeah. Still. Alright, let's see. Several years ago. Oh, is this a backstory? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Like, Endeavor was something. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Oh boy, it's like one of those. Oh no, I think he's somehow involved with... Or maybe not. Oh boy, yeah, it's the same guy. Why? Oh wow, great. Nice hobby you have. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god. God, what the hell? No. Oh, Toya, not Shun. Sorry. I, I, why the hell did I even say Shun? Toya Ni. So he was older than. Okay. So what happened? So what happened? Like what? Oh my god, the Bakugo. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Great, the criminal is following him. Oh lord. Wait, his... His power is like...
Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this guy, uh, yeah, this guy can. Okay. <laughs> oh! Whoa, what the hell? Wait! God, what? Oh boy! Wait! This quirk is locked like um, eraser heads. Like, you know, uh, not quirk, but. Oh God. Oh, he remembers. ending kind of kind of is similar to endeavor like what the Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa. Hero suits? What are those? No, what are those? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hard. Damn, the guy is crazy. Like obviously, like he has some mental disorders. We can see. Oh boy. What are these things? This looks like bandages. But not. I don't think these are bandages. Okay. These are like bandages. <laughs> no. Oh god. Go oh no, he's hesitating because of that. Come on. All right. God! Oh, boy.
Whoa, whoa! Alright. Okay. Nice. Okay, here we go. Now we can go all out. Oh yeah, the, the, those things. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the final blow. Come on. <laughs> Good. Go. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what do I smell? Whoa, what the? Oh, great. Ah, you go to prison again. <laughs> Mob. Okay, he controlled. Ah! Well, there you go. They caught the villain. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Nice. Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> I want to turn nice. Okay, there you go.
No, go, come on, shut up, great. Ugh. Okay, well, painted white lines. Oh, that was what it was. <laughs> now it's <laughs> whoa oh it's he 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 <laughs> who all might i think so or endeavor i think all might or maybe his parents it can be anyone <laughs> yeah you're right <laughs> oh boy wow that was a really good episode it's a wholesome ending and uh, yeah so there you go everything will work out fine from now on <clears throat> as Deku said you're preparing to forgive same with Natsuo and uh, Like the amount, the, the, you know, the different types of people. Like, for example, take the villain here. He became so obsessed with Endeavor that he became, what do you call it? Like, you know, like kind of like, a, like you know, started his criminal activities again. And he wanted to die by Endeavor's hand. And like, oh boy. And he's going again, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to prison again. And he's going to come out eventually again, after a few years. Hopefully he changes by that time. But I doubt, like you know, like... These type of people, like they need to go to the... Not proper, what do you call it, like take proper medical... What do you call it? Steps. Like he, like it was clear that he was mentally kind of okay. Okay. Oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the face. <laughs> What? Come on now, like, don't say that. <sighs> I think another thing is kind of bothering him, which is most probably like you know his family getting involved in everything he's the top hero he's not there oh god yeah
Uh, well, I think I kind of said that a little bit earlier that yeah, everything's going to be fine from now on. Ah, uh, no, it's not fine. But hopefully, it becomes fine in the future. So, all right. Uh, so one thing I thought, like you know, by the end, I think like the reason why Endeavor is um saying that we need, like you know, uh, I'll like you know, what do you call it? I look for a new house for you guys and you guys shift there I'm going to stay here like obviously like one reason is like we can obviously like guess that is uh, he feels like you know he feels bothered that like like I'm sure he actually realizes that he was kind of the reason why no one were able to have a normal family life and he like, you know he thinks that if when their mom comes back it would like you know the, the same pattern would follow in a way even like you know, even though Endeavor won't do stuff like he did before he thinks that they won't be able to comfortable with him you know there'll be always be this awkward type of a mood whenever they are there and like you know these type of things so i'm sh i think he like you know he thinks that if i remain with them they won't be able to have the normal family life that everyone wishes for so like he again he thinks that he again will be the reason why they like you know uh todoroki's family won't have a good family life and that's why he's saying that yeah like i'll remain here you guys live somewhere else because he wants them to have that normal life where there won't be any more awkwardness between them and unless and until they are able to forgive endeavor you know, from the bottom of their heart until then as he said i'm going to atone i don't need any forgiveness it's okay if you don't forgive me for the rest of your life but i myself i'm going to atone and if like i think like you know the way he's thinking like this like he thinks that if someday they are like you not know, all three of them are able to forgive him from the bottom of their heart then probably you know endeavor might move in something like that i think something like that is going on in endeavor's head like that's one reason obviously another reason is i think which was not obviously expressed here but i think there is a little concern that endeavor is having is that if like, since he's the top hero people might actually go for his family you know just like this episode what happened so i think he's kind of being like obviously it was not shown in this episode but i'm sure somewhere in his heart he's also being concerned about this that's why he says that okay like i'll live somewhere else like you know but in a way that also kind of poses another big threat is that like endeavor is a top hero like everyone knows who endeavor's family members are so even if even if they are living somewhere else you know uh villains might try to go and uh, like you know take them hostage just like in this episode that, that happened and i think like endeavor not being with them is going to be a more problem in that situation like he won't even be able to protect them so like there's a good part of this and a bad part the good part as i said like you know if someone actually tries to harm endeavor like if someone comes for endeavor and endeavor is not in the house you know if he is in this house and the family members are somewhere else only endeavor would be like you know harmed or something like he won't uh get his family involved in everything and he can just like you know defeat the villain on his own uh that's a good thing because if someone like this only applies when someone will come for endeavor only but if some villain actually thinks about not going for endeavor directly but going to his family directly and taking them hostage then that will be a problem but in a way todoroki is there and todoroki is pretty damn strong so uh yeah maybe that uh that won't happen who knows but this is another thing and uh yeah like these are the basic thing basic things i think these two things are the main things that i never thought and yeah he, he just wants everyone to be like, you know his family members to live the life that they never were able to live because of him and uh, yeah all right okay so this episode uh 
Okay, so this episode, the first thing we see here is the villain. Now, the villain, like, obviously was, uh, like, you know, captured by Endeavor before. And he had this kind of weird obsession with Endeavor, like, you know, Endeavor's, uh, what do you call it? Endeavor's behavior, his character, the way he was, like, you know, very strict, very, you know, like, was kind of, as he said, like, you know, you were burning bright. You didn't care about anything. You just move forward and like, you know he, he was really fascinated by that and became so obsessed with it that even after he gets released he still wants to go to Endeavor and he wants Endeavor to kill him and uh, like, like that's like an obsessive type of a thing and I don't know hopefully he gets some treatment like um yeah like instead of taking him to a prison go take him to a proper i don't know like doctor medical facility like you know and yeah otherwise i i, I don't see this guy changing he he's probably going to be in prison for a f few more years and again come out and again start his weird stuff again like yeah these type of characters so i don't know like that's just something and uh, now Okay, again, in this episode, we get some hints about Toya. Okay, uh, his name is Toya. Like, I kind of mistook his, like, you know, forgot. I, I don't even know where the hell I got the name Shun from. I was, <laughs> I was referring to him as Shun at the beginning of the episode, you know. Um, uh, I was referring to Toya as Shun. I was like, <laughs> I don't even know where I got the name from. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, so Toya, again, we get this type of, uh, what do you call it? A little hints you know as to something big must have happened and all of them are call, calling toya toya ni that is they are older than them that means even older than um, uh natsuo and um, what was the sister's name i forgot todoroki's sister Fuy fuyumi i think that was the name i can't remember but anyways you know like even older than them so he was the eldest that means but his picture on the altar it's like a, a young picture like that kind of confused me like i i thought like he was the youngest brother or something but then like everyone's calling him toyani toyani i was like okay so he's the eldest but yeah and as i said like you know uh, natsuo and toya were the closest and uh like i think like the big reason why natsuo is really not uh, able to forgive endeavor is because he like, you know, he blames, something must have happened in the past, you know, he blames Endeavor for Toya's death. And, you know, like, that is the actual thing that is making him unable to forgive Endeavor, I think. You know, like, not only, like, obviously the other reasons are there, like, you know, Endeavor kind of being a prick. <laughs> you know, being a bad husband, a bad father, like, all of those reasons are there. But I think the biggest reason is that he cannot forgive him for, uh... I don't know like something must have ha happened to Toya and because of that he can't forgive him or something so yeah so as I said like you know I kind of like you know we got little hints again and we still don't know what happened to him you know, he's dead that's the only thing that we know but other than that nothing I'm sure we'll get to know in the future and where Endeavor comes into play over here like you know like it's, like you know they're making it uh like they can make making it feel as seem as if like Endeavor was actually the reason why Toya died. Now something must have happened. That means you know like some kind of thing that resulted in his death. But yeah, okay. And uh, uh, Naso gets taken hostage here. And uh, okay, um, this guy he can use white painted uh those things we can animate them so that's like a quirk another type of quirk and i if i if, at first i thought if those are bandages like aizawa's bandages but then okay anyways and like you know and then uh Naso gets taken hostage this guy starts freaking out says that endeavor kill me otherwise i'll kill your son and <clears throat> also like you know involves all the other people Mm, now here Deku obviously uh, uses his new quirk the other quirk that kind of went berserk before and he was able to control it properly and 
perfect not perfectly but he was able to control it at quite a good extent and uh, yeah like it's looking good so he might be able to master this very soon hopefully and uh, obviously Todoroki was also there Bakugo was also there Bakugo used uh, Endeavor's advice and like quickly went and saved an Atsuo and uh, Todoroki deal, uh, dealt the finishing blow and uh, yeah and this is how like you know uh, they were able to capture a villain quicker than Endeavor but in a way I think this is kind of uh, had like you know they had an unfair advantage because obviously Endeavor was hesitating at this uh, he hesitated because of his personal feelings his feelings for Natsuo and you know like him as he said in the end like I thought that if I saved you you'll you know reject me forever and that scared him so that's why he kind of stopped in the middle and was unable to go forward and this is like you know this is why like uh, Bakugo and all of them were able to you know step up and complete the like you know save her save Natsu so in a way I think it's kind of like an unfair advantage they had but as like you know Endeavor said that yeah you guys did great like you know you took uh, the correct decision the correct step at the correct time you know like, like decision making as they say and you were able to you know uh, what do you call it a triumph against uh, and you used good teamwork like you know everyone did everything that they themselves can do Bakugo went and saved um, uh, Natsuo which he obviously was in the position to do um, but Deku helped all the other people like you know the, those they, they those people they were, in, they, they were in the cars and also Todoroki like you know frees the guy and stopped him so yeah like everything's good and uh, in the end we see them actually talking with each other like you know Endeavor and Natsuo and how Endeavor as he said like you know like it's okay that uh, I won't be uh, like it's okay if you don't forgive me I just want to atone and uh, like obviously Natsuo is getting conflicted here because he as like you know as Deku said like Deku said this to Todoroki but it also applies to Natsuo because you know as Deku said that you are preparing you're trying to forgive you know you're in the preparation phase to forgive your dad so like you know because you're kind like that's also similarly uh, applies to Natsuo because otherwise as, as, as we can see like you know he won't hesitate this much he won't actually like he's being conflicted as to uh, his hatred for his dad and at the same time his love for his family and also his dad is kind of getting like you know mixed up and it's like making a conflicted emotion which obviously he is unable to process properly like he hates his dad and at the same time he really does want to forgive his dad like that's the basic situation here and uh, yeah so again like this will take time obviously like this 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 won't happen overnight this is something that will take a lot of time who knows six months a year maybe more but eventually yeah it, it, it will happen like you know he will be able to forgive endeavor and uh, yeah okay what else Mm. oh yeah and then the, the, the thing that Endeavor said that you are also kind because you like you know even though you don't like me you are still you are still coming to like you know eat with us like you know trying to you know be normal with me because you want just like your sister you want uh, like you know everything to be normal when your mom comes home so I think that's also, as I said, like, you know, that's the, one of the biggest reasons why Endeavor actually decided in the end to, you know, uh, leave, like, live here and them to actually go somewhere else. Because, like, I'm sure he actually realizes that this whole weird, awkward situation, like, you know, Natsuo forcing him to sit down, eat, just because he wants everything to be normal, uh, you know, 
the other king's sister she also is trying to make everything normal like you know like have to have the uh, family life uh, todoroki as well um uh, and uh, obviously like you know when the mom comes home she's also going to be awkward around everything so like to stop this thing you know no more pretending and to you know for to give them a normal life uh he decided this but i think you know at the same time i also think that um in a way i don't know like in a way this is also going to be not helpful because you know the family that endeavor is trying to get includes himself like you know the normal family that endeavor uh todoroki's um sister natsuo and even the mom no the family that they want the normal family that they are talking about all this time is a family which also contains endeavor in my opinion so him actually going out of the equation probably won't help in a way like obviously they'll be happy you know they they'll be able to not happy but they'll be able to be normal with each other like you know have fun talk you know openly then the, the weird awkward situ like you know atmosphere won't be there but endeavor is not there so they won't be able to become a normal happy family like that's what i'm saying here so in a way that is kind of ah uh, what can i say ah uh, a problem but yeah as i said you know for some days so for some months hopefully you know after i'm sure like you know one day they'll be able to forgive endeavor naturally and that's the time i think when endeavor should come back and they'll be like yeah you know like they'll be able to become a complete happy family like, you know truly they'll be able to become that at that moment at that day but yeah all right anything else um no i don't think so yeah that was it that was this episode so this was episode number um 18 yeah 18 of my hero academia season 5 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia season 5 so until then goodbye and have a nice day